This is the city of Glasgow College. Halls of residence in the back over there. Big workshop area with engines, compressors, the like for the budding marine engineer to learn his trade. A uh, skyway with like a canteen and the main lecture building with like a cool simulator on the fifth floor which is blacked out on the right hand side there. Let's look at it some more. This is now the front of the city of Glasgow College. The entrance being just there. Halls of residence stretching up towards the sky. This is like the seamanship area. And you've got a uh, what do you call it? A fast launch lifeboat. Either way, you're going for a bit of a drop. Some lifeboats over here as well. You can see this better from up top. And we'll go inside and we'll see it in better detail. Quick wander around the revolving door. I'm a bit evil. I always wanted to get someone stuck in here. You know, they're going through. You hold the door, they can't get out. <laughs> no cost of coffee. As you can see, it's rather tall and quite impressive. Just stepped out the elevator on the seventh floor now. This is where I spent most of my college course. In a room to the right there. Uh, this is kind of weird because you've got like the fifth floor over there, which I think is like the staff base, and we look all the way down. Oh, it's the little summer school kids again. There's loads of them. They're everywhere. So yeah, quite high up here, but it's weird because like a perspex glass. It's like the designers said, you know, oh, if you fall from like the first or the first to the sixth floor, you know, you'll be fine. But the seventh floor, oh no. Got to make sure you're protected so that you can't, you know, foolishly throw yourself off a balcony. Yeah, so there we go, quite high up. And as you can see, that's Glasgow out there. I'm actually going to show you a view out of some of the windows so you can actually see how impressive the height here is. So we'll go have a look. It's a bit dark in here, but this is actually the exam hall. And uh, when I, ooh, that's kind of creepy. All the blinds aren't open yet, but yeah, when I did my exams last week, there was 104 of us in here, and still, desk to spare, right? Adjust your eyes a bit. There we go. Right, the reason I'm looking at here is, it's a bit misty. Ah, you can see it now, it's actually cleared up a tiny bit, but there, in the distance, can I zoom in? Oh, I can. Is Parkhead, which is the football stadium for the illustrious Celtic FC who right now are the dominant force in the Scottish Premier League. No offence, but that's not a hard thing to do right now. So there we go, this is the view from the seventh floor towards Park Head. Still on the seventh floor here, but just another view out of Glasgow. You can see some lovely hills in the distance there and the M8 as it winds its way through the heart of Glasgow. Uh, you can't really see it from here. We'll look somewhere else. I will reveal that little spoiler soon. Sixth floor now, we've just come down the stairs in that direction. Rather than be lazy and use these three lifts. Down there is where my, well, the college classroom is that I've been studying in this week. And as I mentioned earlier, the sixth floor, you know, presents well, we can now look straight down, can't we? So it presents an opportunity to get a different perspective on things. But I'm gonna go over here right now because I want to show you if we can see it, certainly the roof anyway, of, here we go, sixth floor. Now this is actually the roof of the, uh, this is actually the roof of the, uh, workshop area which is actually all solar panels which I didn't realize until the beginning of this week when I looked out this window so good on you city of Glasgow College green energy I'm actually quite impressed with that but anyway over there let's get let's zoom in a bit shall we over there you've got like the SECC the bridge and right you can't really see it but over there in the distance can I zoom in more no not really but certainly over there in the distance, in that general direction at the very least, is Ibrox, where you can see the, um, uh, what can we call it? 
the um, memorable, no, not memorable, the iconic, yeah, let's say iconic, for me at least, oh, well, well, uh, Ibrox Stadium, where you've got the um, white trusses of the main stand, which is actually a listed building, but in this direction as well, you've actually got the crane of Glasgow in the centre of the screen now, you can actually do like a swing from that, quite like to do that one day, moving on. Another view from the sixth floor of the city of Glasgow College. I'm going to zoom in a bit because you've got the Enoch Centre there. Uh, just down the River Clyde, you've got the Glasgow Bridge. But right there in the centre of the screen now is actually Cine World Glasgow, which for a time at least, I believe, was actually the world's tallest cinema. So there you go, hats off to Glasgow. <laughs> when I was actually doing this course, in the distance there, you see that people make Glasgow. That's another. Glasgow College building, but the Buchanan Gallery's car park's right there, so I was walking from here all the way there every day, initially, because I'm silly like that and I didn't explore other parking options. But there we go. Another view from the sixth floor of the city of Glasgow College. Staircase now, still being relatively healthy and creepy because it's echoing, but yeah, this staircase stretches from the top of the building right the way down to the bottom. Oh, it's almost like one of those optical illusions. So yeah, I'm going to go down another flight. Yeah. Yep, here we are. This is the room where we've been doing the helm management course this week. Now, it's something I've actually only just noticed, but I'm actually genuinely impressed with. Braille. On door signs. Um, I have genuinely never seen an educational institution facility do that before. So, properly, hats off, very well done, City of Glasgow College, I'm impressed. So yeah, um, that's the City of Glasgow College. Hope you enjoy, and if you come here in the future, it's a good place to learn.